The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Welcome to Spotlight on the Arts. I'm Patrick Cristiano, your host, the publisher of TheaterLife.com, a website for theater buffs in New York City and the Hamptons. We cover Broadway and off-Broadway theater as well as social events in New York City and out here in Long Island. And uh, today I'm coming to you from the LTV studio in Wainscott, where I have a special guest, a local artist from Sag Harbor, Jackie Fuchs. Jackie, thank you so much for coming. Thanks Thank for you. having me, Patrick. <laughs> yeah. And I also wanted to tell our guests that you are also the owner of Salon 66 in Sag Harbor and the Blow Bar in Bridgehampton, where you've been doing hair for 40 years. <laughs> and your hair shows you look terrific. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So, so, so how, tell me how this trend, trans, well, it wasn't, you, we talked a little bit before the show started, so this wasn't really a transition. You sculpted first originally, right? Yes. You were a sculptor? Yes, I've been sculpting for about 35 years. Let me interrupt you, because this is Jackie's work, by the way, that's behind us. I guess you guys figured that out, but you've been a sculptor for, uh, I've sculpted for over 35 years. I, uh, went to school for art education, and, um, when I lived in Manhattan, I went to a few sculpture studios, but before that, actually, I, um, I didn't sculpt in college. I was just learning to be an art teacher. And then what happened was I uh, went to, I started teaching high school, uh, elementary school art in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And I was um, across the street from Clark University. And I went to the clay studio and started sculpting there and then uh, started selling my work in Provincetown. I was, um, uh, I had a hair salon in Provincetown and in my salon I had a gallery. So I would sell people's artwork. But you also still sculpt and you just had a show in Provincetown just recently too. Did I had a show with my paintings. Oh, with paintings. I've only been painting now for uh, this, eight months. Th this is the thing that I find incredibly remarkable, that this is the product of eight months. I mean, not that it took you eight months to do one of these, but you've only been painting for eight months and this is where you've got to already. I've made over 170 paintings and uh, I've sold 47. Oh, and, and Jackie's represented by the White Room in Bridgehampton, where she's going to have a show uh, that's coming up in August, August 25th. 20th, August 20th. The opening's 25th, but you can actually see it on August 22nd, I believe. Is that yes, right? the 22nd through, through September, September 10th. 10, yeah. You know, at, at the White Room in Bridgehampton, which is 2415 Main Street in Bridgehampton. It's on the south side of the highway. Uh, but they've been representing you for a while, too, now. It, just uh, for the last eight months since I've been painting. Yeah, they're, uh, they're terrific. Uh, Kat and Andrea own the gallery, mm -hmm. and um, it's actually across the street from one of my hair salons. From Which is really cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went across one day. I had been to a, a number of openings at their gallery, and, uh, and I felt it was the right fit for me, and, and they did too, so they rep me. And um, uh, I've had about four shows there now, one where I was a featured artist, and now August 25th, I'm a featured artist, and I've sold uh, a number of works through them. And what, what, what's your inspiration? Um, well, I took a few architectural design classes at UMass mm -hmm. when I was getting my degree to be a teacher. And I also studied filmmaking and bookmaking. And these are sort of like freeze frames in a movie or a book, um, because they tell stories. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so with the one and two point perspective of architectural design, I, I thought maybe I can paint. I moved out of my house. I'm living in a loft on Main Street in Sag Harbor and I didn't want to do clay, but I needed to be creative. And I, I started painting and, I, and the first 50 of my paintings have no people, no collage. It's just these backgrounds and uh, rooms. But that's another thing besides sculpture, collage was something that you did always too. No, I never did this you, before. You, you didn't have collage in it? So no. Bread, when I was a kid, we did decoupage sitting around the family. Real, so, the, so the painting and the collage is all brand new too? It's all brand new two-dimensional work for me other than bookmaking. 
Um, and I studied art in France uh, for one whole summer during school. And I, and I went to school as an adult. I went to, back to college at 31, and I ended up with a master's by the time I was 37. I think it's great when people go back to college, because I think when you go back, you really know what you want. I think you really apply yourself in a different kind of way uh, yes. that's unique and really yeah. Well, it's interesting. Thank you. I, you know, what's interesting about the whole thing is that I thought at one point uh, when I moved into the loft, why don't I go back to school? I have a few businesses. Why don't I go back to school and get a master's in painting? And then I thought, why don't I just paint and see how I like it? And I, what was the turning point for me was in November, my daughter's friend was invited us to... Um, uh, Thanksgiving in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So I thought, why don't I go? My, my kid wants to be with her best friend. And they took me to the, the, the two dads of this friend took us to uh, the Barnes Foundation. Oh, wow. And it reminded me of when I was a kid, we had this Modigliani, a mm -hmm. copy, over my parents' bed. <laughs> and all of these necks, these are all m my Modigliani influence. And, and I just started painting. Uh, I have my earlier work, which was eight months ago, were these necks uh, and people's heads. And then I thought, what are, and a friend of mine's uh, mother does collage. She passed away. She was an incredible collage ar artist. And I thought, why don't I try that? Because I like to work. And these characters started evolving, as did the rooms and the environment. So when you started, you had no concept of what you were going to put on the canvas? It, just it was just walls. I put just walls. And it, what's interesting is when I, sculpt, when I was sculpting, mm -hmm. I made boxes. Everything was boxes. So they went from three-dimensional to, I was going to say four-dimension, but uh, they went from three-dimensional to two-dimensional. On so so, and I called some of them columns and panels. Oh. Let, 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 let's let's show let's show the audience, uh, I guess, some of the some of the work we have because we have some images of, of work that you've done here. I'd love the, that. Here's the first one. Let, tell oh, us yeah. what is the name of this. This one's called "Oh, You're Home Early," <laughs> and uh, this one I already sold. Um, you know, I was in. What, What's the size of it? Approximately? This one was small. This one was only 12 inches by 12 oh. inches. And, and this is acrylic, right? On no, yeah, acrylic on canvas okay. with uh, a magazine, so it's mixed media. And I, I usually, I started putting, on these walls, I started putting windows and doors and, and other people's art, and then creating relationships between the furniture and the people. And the dog, you have it. And have, yeah, is, I have a lot of dogs in these. Just, no, no, no these are just random dogs that I find cute. <laughs> because I love dogs, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I oh, wrote me a show, too. I yeah. wrote a show called My Lessons from Dogs. Oh, oh <laughs> interesting, because oh, my sculptures w that weren't boxes were dogs. And I sold those all in Provincetown. Okay, so, okay, let's have the next image. It's good. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. This one, it was a commission. My, it's called Casey. And what's the size of this? This one was also uh, eight by eight. Okay. And this one was is called Casey and Daughter, and uh, they they commissioned me, and and so this is actually it looks like Casey and it looks like her daughter. <laughs> and, and who are uh, they? And they're just friends of mine oh, that cool. that wanted to buy my work, and I said, and I said, let me make some that look like you and your daughter, and actually because. Um, her daughter liked it so much, I made one, uh, a, a copy of it on metal for her daughter. Oh, well, I'll talk about that Yeah, because I really want to get to that for sure, yeah. Okay, go ahead, what's the next, what's this one? Oh, this one's one of my favorites also. It's called uh, Gallery Party. Oh, it looks like a gallery party. And, um, and that, oh, there's Gallery Party, and, and there's Succulent, and yeah. you can see I hung my work on the back of now, the is, work. is this one small too? Yeah, this one's uh, eight, um, uh, ten, twelve, ten by eight. That's what this is an eight by ten, but it's uh, ten is the long and mm -hmm. eight's the short. Yes, and then uh, from my business card, I I cut the pictures of my images and put them in the on the wall in that image. Oh, so that's you're cool. actually getting four of my paintings in that one, <laughs> and uh, I still next? I still have that one. And then that one's one of my favorite. My friend David bought that. 
That one is, now it's on metal. I, have, I make three copies of each image once I sell them on metal and the buyer knows that that's something I do. Um, that one's called Shall We? And that's also Shall We, but that's Shall We too. Um, that's one of my all-time favorites. I'm having that made very big for the show in uh, Bridgehampton at the White Room Gallery. Big being how big? Uh, two feet by four feet. So th th this will be two feet by four feet and they can see it in, yes. in the White Room in Bridgehampton. The original piece was 15 inches by 30 inches. So they can see it in the show that's coming up on August 22nd. Absolutely, 22nd. yes. Uh, that one is also in the show. Um, I've sold the original of this. It's called Uptown Book Club. Um, and Uptown Book Club. And this was um, 15 by 30 as well. This was a big one. Th that, that was the biggest I had gotten other than this shape, which is 20 by 20 behind me. Uh, this one's one of my favorite. I sold this that. This is cool. The colors are so vibrant. I mean, thank you. Well, yeah. I'm a colorist. I do the, hair, so yeah. <laughs> the, 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 my color. It's terrific. The colors so terrific. This one is called Dior's Garden, and one of my goals is to have the designers hire me to do commissions for their design for their stores. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping, and I've met some people who are trying to connect me with the designers themselves and uh... You could take that down while Jackie's talking about it. Yeah, go ahead Jackie. Yeah, so, so um, I'm, you know, one of my goals is to be in boutique hotels, um, galleries, of course, all over the place, and uh, uh, design stores, you know, Dior, and um, uh, there's a lot of different um, Gucci and uh, Fiorucci, yeah, um, uh, not Fiorucci's gone. That's been gone a long time. Um, uh, Hermes. I'd li like all the design, the clothes that I cut out of magazines for my work. I'd like these pieces to be commissioned to be in big stores. That's where. Is that I'm a five-year plan, or because you're only eight months now? <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's a, that's a one, next year, the next summer. That's so, I, I, we'll go back to the paint, but you also brought with you because these, yeah, I thought, these this are, is one these of my are dynamite. Too. She put, Thank she, you. These are prints that she does, yeah. and she puts them on metal. Yes, they're so beautifully made, and the colors are just. Thanks. They're really. Yeah, these are well made the, too. The, the young kids, are, they're dope. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the thing is, is like I like so many pieces so much that when, a bit when, that when I sell them, I don't really want them to be completely gone. <laughs> so what I do is I, I put them on metal. People know that there's three, a series of three copies uh -huh. and, and they're easy to hang and uh, they're signed. And I also have a line of greeting cards, uh, blank inside, but like these are great for party invitations. And um, and I sell those in some bookstores in in Provincetown. The, the, these are larger than the ones you were work, that we were looking at on um, before. These yeah, these are twenty by twenty. I've gone bigger now. I've gone to um, two feet by four feet. Most of them are that size now. And and I I make them where they can be a triptych. If someone needs a very long piece, oh, trip, mm -hmm. like twelve inch, twelve mm -hmm, feet. Mm -hmm. They can buy three, but if they want eight feet, they can buy two. Like I can sell them separately or together, either way. Um, I, I just, you know, um, they don't have to be attached, in other words, but yeah, they're yeah. the same size for mm -hmm. a long wall. I, I've been commissioned to do a big piece for this beautiful home in uh, Boston. This couple came to my gallery show in Provincetown, right. and they bought two small pieces, and they have this beautiful mid-century home with a, a cement wall and it's over the land. They want to put a huge piece over this landing that they can just see from here and then from below you can look up and see it. So going bigger. And did they, are you free to create wherever you want or do they have something they want you to do? They like my whole style. And so you're, you're going to be free yeah. to create whatever you do, do for Within, them. you know, uh, I'll talk to them. We talked about size and we will talk about my color palette is pretty much the same for all my paintings. Mm -hmm. I, I like I put some red, a lot of red in some of them, and a lot of Tiffany blue. Mm -hmm. And like the color of your shirt is great. That's really. Um, I, I instinctively uh, knew to put this you on. Did, for you did. Yeah, I did. Seriously, you, the, the guy's wearing <laughs> it in my picture here. 
So. Oh, and, and Jackie has a website. It's called studiojackie.com if you want to learn more information about her work or how she works and stuff like that. It's jackiestudio.com. You could check more stuff out about her. But why don't we go back and pick up, I, we have some more images. We didn't see all the images you brought. Oh, sure. Here, where, here, here, what's this one now? What's oh, this, this is one, one of my newest pieces, actually. This is great. This is one, uh, the one that now, I was telling you about. Yeah, this is two feet by four feet. Okay, cool. Yeah, and this is called 60s Party, and uh, th there's three panels. Actually, this morning I started my fourth panel. If someone needs, you know, so uh, this one has feet. this one has three panels already. And you're doing a fourth to it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, this is one panel. Mm -hmm. This is one of the four. And the size, this one's two feet by four feet. That's correct, time. yeah. This will sell. Right, uh, take that down for a second, because I'm curious now. Yes. From moving from working in those little eight by ten yeah. to two feet by four feet, yeah, is it easy to adapt? You have what kind of? You know, I was a little scared at first because um, I would make one or two a night of these little ones. I would work on three at a time because what I'm doing is arrange. Like I, I would make the background, the rooms, and then and the colors. And then what happens is I, I would like arrange the furniture and the people and the pets and the art and then go to sleep. I'd, I'd have to sleep on it so that I'd have a fresh view in the morning. Right. And with the little ones, I, I can like walk away for 20 minutes and come back and do it. But with the big ones, I really needed the overnight. But when this, this couple commissioned me for this big piece, that's when I got scared and I was like, well, you know, Jackie, you can do this because what you're doing is just creating relationships between all the characters. And, and I actually sort of, I'll look at, like I'll cut, I'll cut all day long in between haircuts and color. I'm, I'm cutting magazines all day long and I, and I have bins and bins of already cut furniture, already cut musical instruments or fruit or books or, um, uh, art that I'm interested in or characters, uh, the clothing, and I'll cut that all out and I'll arrange it and then I'll create relationships and I'll, I'll think who, who's good with who? I've always been a matchmaker. I'm like, <laughs> who would go with who? And like if you notice in all my work, like everyone's sort of glancing away and they're flirting with someone that you might not have in their vision or they're thinking about something. They're, no one's, it's very rare that anyone's looking directly at each other mm -hmm. because there's this playfulness going on about it. It's so what, are you, what, what are you trying to say by that? Well, I think I wasn't ne like thinking about what I want to say about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I sort of let it have the viewer's option ah. to say whatever they want to say about that. Mm -hmm. Because like in the one we saw earlier, uh, Oh, You're Home Early. Right. What does that mean to who? In fact, I almost brought that up, believe it or not, because I thought that was a really interesting title, and there was a lot of stuff in there you, from from the people, you, the, the way they were relating to each other. In well, the if piece. you want to put that back, I want to can, talk to you can, about can that. We go, for can a we moment. go back to that first piece? Because, um, you're home early. It's oh, you're there, home early. Yeah. Oh, you're okay, home early. So, yes. Okay. So the two people sitting by the fire pit, like they're they're actually so we're actually. How I didn't think about this. I created it, and then on afterthought, what happens you is saw it afterwards. Uh, we're in the fireplace. You and I are sitting in the fireplace, mm -hmm. looking at, into the room right. of this couple whose partner walked in. You know, so right. someone here is like, and also like the person on the left is that my my thing is that that's a man's body. And so the person's sort of gender fluid, or you can look at it as a male or a female. Uh -huh. I, it's not important to me. Um, I just let these people come out of See, me. I, I, she was a female to me, though, because of the hair and, and, and even with the fluid body. Yes. Uh, so, okay, so, so I, here's this guy coming home. But he, so then he looks it, disturbed to me, the guy coming yeah, home. Yeah, he is disturbed <laughs> because these two are having a nice conversation by the fire, <laughs> yeah. And, and the thing is, um, it, you know, it, is he angry with the male or the female? Like, that, that's the ambiguity of the, uh, all my pieces, you know. Um, <clears throat> 
everyone's pretty uh, casual. Like, um, I don't th think there's definition in, because like I'll show some work to people, like my work hangs in my salon when it's not at a show mm -hmm. at, in, in Sag Harbor. And people, my clients will come in. I, I don't have a gallery there, but it's on my wall right, for decoration. Mm -hmm. And and people will think, you know, sometimes that the guy in the suit is a guy, is a girl, because of the hair, because I do their hairstyle. So, to me, yeah, it's well, not he, important. He looks very androgynous. He, he right, really yeah. does. So he, this one here looks really very androgynous. Yeah. So uh -huh. the, I like that that ha have that going on, but it's not conscious. It's just um, I'm just creating their faces, and everyone, all my characters have the same red lips. The hair colors are different, and, and there's a lot of big hair in my uh, work. Not because I'm thinking about it, just because I'm no, creating relationships. Yeah. It's, and it's who you are. Yeah. The hair yeah. is, you know, 40 yeah. years. <laughs> yes, exactly. What I do think about more than stylizing these people is the relationships between the furniture, the pets, the art on the wall, the room they're in, the openings of the rooms they're in, the windows, the space. Like in the last one we showed, um, you could see there's a lot of just trees that mm -hmm. have no branches in a big window. But here's the last one again. Yeah. What, oh, okay. Uh, I, what, didn't ch I don't have that here. It, it must be a different one. But what, 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 yeah, there's what, what motivated you to go from the small paintings to the large paintings? Be, being asked to do a big piece for this just guy. Being, just being asked to do a big one. I thought I better practice before he actually, he and I actually <laughs> agree on purchasing. So it, was ju it, it was just that it, it's, it's, it's all process then. The more you're in the process, the more things happen, the more yeah. sparks go off, you create yeah. stuff, the more you're stimulated, things just happen. Well, so you know, going to the Barnes Foundation, I didn't know I was coming home to make 175 paintings in eight months. I thought I'm going to take my daughter to her friend's place in Philadelphia. And like, so, so for me, it's like saying yes to things that I might say no to because of what happens when you're open to experiencing something that you didn't have on your radar. And, and so all my art is like so not on my radar. It's, it's just this process of put the pen to the, put, put the ink, you know, put the paint to the canvas. And at first I didn't even invest in paint or canvas because I didn't know I was a painter. And so what happened was I bought a pad and some, uh, you know, little tiny tubes of acrylic. And um, it wasn't until I did an opening up in my loft where I live, I did a, I had a big party. I had it catered and I had about 60 friends come up. I invited about 400 people that I know and People came up and I sold seven pieces that night, and I thought, "Oh, they like it." Yeah, <laughs> they like it. I guess it. I can. And I started calling myself a painter, and that's when I went to the white room mm -hmm. and started doing this. You know, the the collage. So, 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 the, so the Barnes going to the Barnes exhibition was the catalyst. Totally. For you. And and because you were so receptive to the experience, you just soaked it up and came back. You know, I, I was not someone who thought, go vacation in Philadelphia. And just being open to this, like the guys who invited me, you know, because they, I thought they were just inviting my daughter. And, and I said yes to that. And that's what was in store for me. You so, know? so we're getting short on time, but oh, we're wow. not out. But did you want to? Sh we d I don't think we got to all the paintings where they're signed. Do, do, do you, you want to? Yeah. I mean, we have about two or th oh, two yeah. minutes more. I'd love to. Can we? Can we go? Yeah. No, we're, we did all the paintings we already. We, we finished them all. Okay, she great. She, I think she's. We, we, we've got. We did get through all the paintings. Cool. So we did. We, great. we got through all the great. paintings. Thank I you. Wasn't sure we did I that. appreciate that. That, that. So one more time, uh, Jackie's website is studiojackie.com. And she has a show coming up at the White Room. Uh, it, op it opens August 25th, but it's on view August 22nd through September 10th. Uh, the White Room is at 2415 Main Street in Bridgehampton, and it's on the south side of the highway. So we yeah. have a couple more minutes. Great. And, um, 
I, I want to thank you for, you know, inviting me to do this because um, I, I've been in a few newspapers, I, you know, and I, uh, I my, my, my goal is, is like, th this work is, is so happy. Like, and, and it's not about um, me selling it, it's about having people enjoy it so much. And then the sales happen. So um, I'm j I feel so grateful that I'm just able to have this exposed on this level as well mm -hmm. and with you. And um, oh, it's, it's my pleasure. Thank you. you. Know, and we, I love doing it. What's, it's really exciting because you're having so much fun doing it. And that's what's. That's I can't what, that's stop. What <laughs> it's crazy. Like I'll, I went to a movie last night and, and I, I, I go home and I'm up till 1231. <laughs> Because I, it's just I'm I don't want it to stop, so I keep doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, it has a lot of momentum, so I'm just like, uh, you know, it's manifesting itself <laughs> through me. It's really it's really fun. I'm I'm loving it. Um, and and and, I, and you also live in this loft on on Main Street, or is yes, it just I'm living in this loft on Main Street. I have a house on 114, but I'm I'm living in my loft in Main Street, two doors down from one of my hair salons. Oh, how cool. Yeah, yeah. So Wonderful. it's great. So in between clients, I'll take lunch, and I'm actually up there eating and painting. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Jackie, no one's stopping you, that's for sure. No, not now. <laughs> I have a feeling you might manifest what you're looking for uh, and quicker uh, than the five-year plan, for sure. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, it's a one-year plan. Yeah, I, I think it's going to happen. So, so we're running out of time. Uh, Jackie Fuchs, again, will be at the White Gallery in uh, Bridgehampton on August 22nd through September 10th. Go see her there. Thank you. Thank you.